what if we could go back in the past to undo the mistakes we have done in our life or what if we could travel to the future like the sci-fi movies among all other possibilities in science probably time travel is the one which is most fantasized about that is why there are dozens of movies dealing with time travel and its consequences but is time travel even possible does physics allow it or is it impossible and prevented by the laws of nature the concept of time itself is a very complex one scientists like galileo newton thought time to be same for everyone who experiences it but einstein in his famous theory of relativity said time is the fourth dimension apart from the 3d space in special theory of relativity something known as the time dilation was introduced according to it time flows differently in different frame of references moving with different velocities it says time moves slower for an object which is moving with higher speed this equation tells us about the time dilation where delta t is the time passed on a stationary frame and delta t prime is the time passed on a frame moving with velocity v according to this equation time passes slow in fast moving frames this means if a spaceship departs earth and travels near the speed of light then in its return hundreds of years would have passed on earth but with respect to the observer inside the spaceship only few months would have passed this was the primary concept behind the movie planets of the apes where the characters used a spaceship and eventually ended up on future earth which was ruled by apes but in true sense this is not time travel because in both cases the reference frames travel in the same direction in time but with different rates so traveling to the future is allowed by the special theory of relativity but to travel back in time it follows from the equation that faster than light speed is needed now according to special theory of relativity time stops completely at the speed of light and nothing in the universe can go faster than light even to accelerate an object to the speed of light infinite amount of energy would be needed which is practically impossible but if the mass is itself imaginary then it seems possible this hypothetical mass is known as a tachyon but there is no good reason to believe in the tachyon yet so we saw special theory of relativity was not of much help but fortunately we have general theory of relativity which includes special theory of relativity but also explains the forces of gravity as a curvature in the fabric of space time the hypothetical and bizarre consequence of general relativity is wormhole If space can be warped then it can be bent in such a way that two different points in space time get connected and something enters into one end emerges from the other this not only allows traveling large distances but also traveling through time here's how it works one end of the wormhole is accelerated to a significant fraction of the speed of light by putting into a deep gravitational potential now when it stops an offset in time due to time dilation has occurred between the two different points so something travels through the wormhole will actually travel through time but the limitation is that it does not allow to go to the time before the machine was created the gr does allow wormholes but they are certainly not stable they collapse almost instantly creating inescapable black holes In order to make a wormhole stable we need something probably non existing matter called negative mass or exotic matter more technically the wormhole space time requires a distribution of negative energy many physicists believe that the required negative energy may actually be possible due to the casimir effect which says the energy of vacuum is lower in between two nearby conducting plates However, there is no clear way to use this in a large scale structure to keep the wormhole open. In fact, we would need negative mass worth of planets or even stars to do that. Another example of time travel using negative mass is the Alcubierre drive or the warp drive. Proposed by Mexican scientist Michel Alcubierre, this theory suggests that by warping space time, a spacecraft can achieve apparent superluminal speed and hence time travel. but both wormholes and warp drives need negative mass to operate so is it even possible to get them although the general theory of relativity does allow it there are some secondary conditions which prohibit the existence 
of negative energy. These are known as the energy conditions, but they have no fundamental basis and seem to be violated in the case of Casimir effect. So we cannot completely rule out the wormholes or warp drive theory depending only on the energy conditions. But there are other ways of time travel without using imaginary or negative mass. One example is the Tipler cylinder. This was proposed by Frank Tipler based on a solution to the Einstein's equation by William Van Stockham. For this, an infinitely long cylinder with extreme density has to be rotated very quickly about its central axis. It will drag space-time in its vicinity in some sort of vortex. This causes sublight speed paths through space-time and forms closed loops. We call such paths closed time-like curves. A spacecraft traveling through one of these paths could return to its own past. But the main challenge is that we need infinitely large cylinder which is practically impossible. Stephen Hawking showed that if the length is less than infinity, then it would not work. Another option may be something known as a curved black hole or a rotating black hole. It is theorized that they may form closed time-like paths in their interior. But in this case, the fallen object cannot return to the time before it fell into the black hole, which is not of much help. So it seems useless to make a time machine to move in one and only one direction in time. But what is more weird that time travel may violate the basic law of nature. It threatens the relation of cause and effect or shortly causality. If causality is broken, then we end up creating paradoxes. One famous paradox is the grandfather paradox. If a time traveler goes back in time and kills his own grandfather, then due to causality he simply isn't born to kill him. In order to solve this paradox, Stephen Hawking suggested the chronology protection conjecture. It says the laws of physics will allow time travel only if it does not create paradoxes. In other words, the universe has to make sense. For closed time-like curves, the Novikov self-consistency principle must be valid. That means the time travel will be valid till the object moves in one direction only. In simple words, it means the loop creates itself. An alternate explanation may be Hugh Everett's many-world interpretation in quantum mechanics, which says, killing his grandfather does not cause paradox, but separate universe where he is never born. Apart from these, time travel may genuinely be impossible. Keith Thorne suggests that there should be one fundamental law of physics that prohibits it. For example, the quantum vacuum may be unstable for the closed time-like loops. But the fun fact is that Keith Thorne was the consultant in the movie Interstellar, so who knows what is possible. One final argument that time travel is not possible is that we do not see time travelers. Stephen Hawking put this to rigorous test when he invited the time travelers of the future to his party after the party had been ended. Tellingly, no one showed up. So we cannot tell whether time travel is possible or not until we find the complete theory of quantum gravity. We work with approximate theories and approximate theories give incorrect results. So unfortunately, we are still bound to move in one and only one direction in time by the laws of nature. We remain in the firm grip of the one dimension that we cannot control or change its flow. Thank you for watching. Please like comment and share this video and to see such videos in future do subscribe